Hello everyone, my name is Kemi Lewis of Careless Naturals and welcome to this short video series on taking care of your hair in this period where we are all at home. So the one thing you don't want to have to start worrying about after all of this is over is that you've messed up your hair because you have not taken care of it adequately. So just very few, um, very few and very quick tips um, on how you can care for your hair while you're at home. First thing, you want to ensure that you have a regimen. What is a regimen? You want to ensure that you're doing specific things at specific times to make sure your hair is nice and moisturized and doesn't become dry and start to break out start to break off. So the first thing you want to do is ensure you are shampooing, then you want to ensure that you are conditioning, then you want to ensure that you are moisturizing and sealing, and you want to ensure that you are then protecting your hair. So those four main things, shampooing, ensure that you wash your hair with a nice moisturizing shampoo. Do it in twist as my hair is in right now. My hair has just been washed um, so that you don't have this bunched up hair and then you now have breakage all over the place. Um, the second thing you want to do is ensure that you condition after you shampoo. Again, leave your hair in twist. It makes it easier to apply your products from section to section. It also prevents the hair from tangling and then the tearing that happens when you're trying to detangle. Then you want to moisturize and seal, which is something you want to do every day. Apply a moisturizer on the hair to ensure the hair is nice and soft. Follow up with a, an oil to seal the moisture into the hair. Then you want to ensure that you are protecting, which is putting it in a style. You could still leave it in these twists. Nobody's going anywhere, so you're fine with twists like these. And then cover your hair with a satin bonnet when you sleep at night. Um, detangle with your fingers and with a wide tooth comb if you need um, something extra to detangle. Okay, so that's it. Hope that helps. Enjoy washing your hair. Second thing I will be talking about is caring for your hair in a protective style. I'm sure some of us have braids on. Some of us have our hair um, woven under a wig. Um, some of us have crochet. Some of us have whatever else it might be kinky twist for instance what you do not want to do is neglect your hair even while you have these twists in because it is very easy to forget about it and then once all of this is over you take out your extensions and you have all this dry breakage everywhere so what you want to do is ensure that even with your protective style you are still moisturizing your own hair within that how do you do that for instance if you have braids what you can do is take a section of the braids and then look for where your own hair is within the extensions take a spray a bowl moisturizer for instance like that and spray your own hair from where your own hair is within the braids you do that ensure you squeeze that in so that the moisture gets in take a little bit of oil pour that into your hand rub and then do the same thing just to ensure that your own hair within the extensions stay nice and moisturized and you don't have breakage and you don't have any um, length retention issues. So I hope that helps ensure you moisturize your hair in your protective styles. Thank you. Now, I want to quickly talk about how you should have your hair styled if you have not done anything to your hair or if you hadn't done anything to your hair before the lockdown began. Now, it is very important, particularly when you have natural hair such as I do, that you don't leave your hair out. Reason being that our strands are not straight, they are quite curly. So if you do leave it out, what tends to happen is that all the strands start to wrap around one another. You will get a lot of tangling. Once you start to try to detangle that, you will get a lot of breakage, a lot of brittleness, and it will be a frustrating thing. So you want to avoid that. The best thing to do is to ensure that your hair is always in a stretched out state. What does that mean? It means that your hair is not just all out and bunched up, but you put it in a style like I have again, these twists, very simple. I don't have up to, I think this is just about eight or nine or something. Very easy to do. If you don't know how to do twist, it's very, very simple to do. All you just need to do, take a section and they don't need to be tiny because it will be too much trouble. And then even taking out will be too much trouble. Just take chunky sections like this. You want to take a little bit of product, a cream or a butter or something. Apply that just to aid, um, aid what you're going to be doing and to ensure that the hair is nice and moisturized. You want to divide the section into two bits very gently. Divide into two and all you are doing really is crossing one over the other. Make sure the base is tight. Cross, 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 cross. 
And that's all you're just doing till you get to the end. You just cross. And that's it. Just do that all over and just make sure that your hair is in a stretched out state. And then once you're done, you can always pull back into a bun if you don't want it in your face or whatever. And you're good to go. So I hope you enjoy that. Take care of your hair. We want to see lovely, luscious, still nice and bouncy hair after the lockdown. Thank you very much.